Well, in this week's WeatherWise segment, we're going to talk about the two different systems that uh, pretty much cause all the weather for us here. Now, high pressure, that's the big H right there. We've seen these before in L. That would be the low pressure system. But how do these actually work? Well, let's take a look at that. High pressure, well, the air is moving down, pushing down, hence more pressure along the ground level. And then for low pressure, that air moves up and out, so a lower pressure right along the surface. Now, it's not just up and down moving air. It's also moving around those systems. So around high pressure, we spin in a clockwise motion, and that air moves out. Now, for a low pressure system, it moves in, and it spins in a counterclockwise motion. So what does that mean for us? Well, first off, with a low pressure system, as that air moves up, it would be warm air. It rises, it cools, condenses, forms clouds, and, of course, we see much more of an unsettled weather pattern and some stormy conditions. Whereas high pressure, that air moves down. It sinks down and flows out. Of course, we usually see much more sunshine and guess what what kind of pressure are we seeing today well with all the sunshine we're definitely seeing high pressure moving through the area